Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome back to the 2K Lab channel. Today we're going to talk about badges on NBA 2K23. So in this video, we'll be looking at the Aerial Wizard badge. We're going to break it down to you guys exactly what it does to increase your ability to finish alley oops and what each level actually does for you in detail. Secondly, we'll also break down to you how it can help you with putbacks and what level you need to get these done consistently while saving your badge points. So let's begin with alley oops and we're going to take a look here in this incident where you don't have the aerial wizard badge so this is no badge and as you can see when the variables are such the alley oop meter has a lot of black space which if you trigger it's not going to pop the green space is small and the green window is very late into the meter so that's the kind of disadvantage you get if you have no badge essentially with no badge you have a small chance to hit slightly and your green window is very much delayed now granted if it's a wide open alley oop like this as long as you get it into that slightly range you will finish and these characteristics will be pretty consistent if you keep trying these kind of alley oops with no badge as you can see once again very small slightly opportunities delayed green window Granted, if your timing is good, you will still finish the dunk, but this is not the best. Now, if we compare it to Hall of Fame Aerial Wizard, another alley -oop, wide open one, you can see the spot we triggered it is similar, but at Hall of Fame level, your slightly chances are increased significantly. You can see now the green bar is covering majority of your meter, but most importantly, the green window has now moved up by a ton. So you have a way earlier opportunity to green now, and that's big. So you can see here, we didn't green it, but we were able to trigger the dunk much earlier compared to no badge to finish it off and we got a slightly but the opportunity and the advantages are huge you can see another incident here at the hall of fame level we popped the alley -oop meter once again lots of green and the green window was also super early so much more margin for error now at the gold level similar to hall of fame once again you can see lots of slightly the green window was much earlier so from our testing gold and hall of fame you get these kind of advantages and they are pretty consistent with it so gold is probably enough you don't need to go all the way to hall of fame but if you do get it to go there are these smaller incidents where like you don't get that perfect one but it's still much better than no badge now at silver same angle now you can see still a lot of a uh, slightly green opportunity but the green window it's earlier than no badge but it's slightly later compared to gold and hall of fame so there is a drop off from hall of fame gold to silver especially with silver the green window will get moved back and you can sometimes get these worse opportunity dunks it's still better than no badge but now it's worse than gold and hall of fame right bronze has very similar characteristics to silver once again plenty of slightly window but the green window has moved back a bit but it's still a lot better than no badge but not as good as hall of fame and gold so bronze and silver similar gold and hall of fame are better there's a bigger jump but it's all about that green window early or later or how much your slightly meter is now when it comes to putbacks we do recommend at a silver level that's what is happening here with majority of these red clips you can see on all of these putbacks so you definitely want to get it up there because don't forget aerial wizard helps a lot with value oops but at the same time it also helps with putbacks and silver is a pretty sweet spot for it so overall we recommend at least bronze or silver depending on what you like to do a ton De definitely don't go with no badge if you can get aerial wizard because that green window moving up with the big bigger slightly opportunity is huge silver is going to give you even better putbacks but bronze will help you finish majority of your alios because especially you're not going to call these when you're completely you know covered so you're going to be relatively open bronze and silver is going to do the trick so as always thanks for coming by if you got any questions leave it in the comment section we would love to hear how you've been using aerial wizard make sure to visit nba2klab.com for more information and i look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.